Before I get to the actual commentary, quick time capsule alert again. Same as in the previous part of this review, I've currently seen almost the entire first season of this show, and as a huge fan of the books, I fucking hate it. The recording you're gonna hear now reflects my view after having seen the first three episodes, and at that point, you're gonna notice my initially positive reaction after the first episode start to gradually go up in flames. If you're a fan of the show, keep watching at your own peril. If you hated it as much as I did, enjoy and thanks for watching. And I also talk about my fascination with the books, so rest assured, if you do keep watching, bitching and negativity are not the only things you're gonna hear. And with that, here's my review of episodes 2 and 3. Okay, so I have now seen episodes 2 and 3 of the American version of the Three Body Problem. And by the way, why the fuck did they name the show with a number in the title? Couldn't they just spell out the number like in the book title? That just looks weird. It makes me feel like they were either too lazy, or they felt like the audience was lazy, or somehow they thought it would make it look cooler sounding, which I can perceive how, but whatever. Now, after having watched the second and third episodes, my opinion has changed, and not in a good way. Don't get me wrong, it's still a nice show, and I bet if I hadn't read the books, it would have impressed me much more than it did. But having experienced the books, and those fucking books just scarred me for life with how insanely good they were, this show in comparison just feels really mediocre, and here are my reasons. They made the story much shallower and faster, much more dumped down for some reason, I guess for the masses. And I understand why every fucking film company nowadays is afraid of making something too smart, because their assumption is that most people are just fat fucking popcorn eating cheap thrill seeking slobs who only want to watch digestible stuff that doesn't make them think too much, which to this day I can't make up my mind as to whether I agree with or not, but whatever. They wanted to make this show not for the book readers, but for the masses, which means they gotta make it fast, they gotta make it more action-packed, they gotta make it less science-y and all that shit. And although the show was still pretty good, and I will keep watching, I fucking hate what they're doing with it. And I'm not gonna go into every single detail of these two episodes, because honestly I forgot most of it, which is very telling in itself. I'm just gonna mention the stuff that really made it go downhill for me. And it's the depiction of the three-body video game. Now, when I was reading the book, the first book, that is, I perceived the plotline with the video game as in the game itself was a recruitment tool used by the ETO, with the help of which they tried to convince people to become supporters of the Trisalaran invasion, and the way that worked was through exposing the player to the history of the Trisalaran civilization and impacting the quote-unquote victim on two levels intellectual and emotional. And I'm not saying that's how the author intended it or whatever, I'm saying that's how I perceived it. So the game is supposed to lure people in toward the Trisalaran cause via their intellectually and emotionally fascinating story. The intellectual element comes in with the mystery of the chaotic three-star system which the planet has to survive. First you've got a civilization wondering why the fuck the sun is moving so sporadically. Then you've got them gradually realizing it's not just one, but three suns. Then you've got them trying to figure out some kind of a coherent cycle of the movements of these suns so that they can know when it's safe to come out and live in peace. Then you've got them realizing that there is never gonna be a coherent cycle of the movements of these suns. And finally, you've got them realizing that the only way for them to survive their world is to just fucking leave it. Intellectually, that developing realization throughout the course of the game is absolutely amazing to me. And it's written out slowly, gradually, concisely, and in a way that lets your mind consume it bit by bit, without it being too much, and also without dragging too slowly. It comes to you perfectly, to the point where even I, the stupid ass who just an armchair space nerd with no astronomy background whatsoever, I realized, before I even read it, that when the sun rose in the scene with a human army computer, and they were all cheering for the first few seconds, thinking everything was fine, but then a person came screaming out a warning, before I got to the point where they reveal what was happening, I paused reading and I thought about it. What could be wrong this time? They used the human army computer calculations, the sun rose as predicted, so what was happening? Why was the messenger in panic? And because it had already been established that the suns were three, my brain automatically jumped to the conclusion of what was happening here. They were seeing one sun at the moment, but just because they were seeing only one, that didn't mean it was actually just one. And if they were seeing only one, but there had to be three, then that had to mean that the three suns had lined up together and my jaw dropped. 
and then I moved on to the next lines of text, and lo and be fucking hold, we got the scene with the three sun syzygy. And this is what utterly amazed me. The book is written in such a brilliant way that it doesn't just tell you a story, it guides your mind through the story like a helper who lays down the footstones in, on the path in front of you before you can make the step yourself. And it was absolutely brilliant. I felt like Liu Tsin did not just write a book for me. It's like he used those pages to reach into my brain and teach it how to navigate this complex story. And I don't think I've ever read any other book in my life that was this brilliant. And additionally, for me, the level of intellectual depth, regardless of which book or film or art piece we're talking about, the intellectual depth is inherently connected with emotional depth. Whenever my brain is presented with such a fascinatingly complex scheme, it not only goes to my head, but also to my heart, so to speak. I'm not sure why, but I've literally cried while reading a book about black holes. Completely non-fiction, completely devoid of any intent of imposing emotion on the reader. And yet it made me cry because of the sheer fascination that I have with the subject. And I've had the same experience with the Three Body Trilogy, and the Three Sun Syzygy scene in particular. And not just this scene, but the entire plotline of the video game. From the start to when they erect the giant pendulum and they realize that they just have to leave. I fucking cried at the realization. Firstly, because it was brilliant in terms terms of the intellectual play, and secondly, because of the tragedy of these people, all the horrors they've gone through, wiped out so many times, and in such terrible ways, and yet they keep fighting and striving to survive and understand their world, only to realize in the end that there is no hope and they just have to run. Which is why they also realized that they have to completely discard any sort of emotion from their being and become totalitarian monsters in order to survive the horror of their world. It just completely wrecked me. And I don't remember how many times I cried throughout the book. And this was just the first one. I don't even want to mention the trauma that I had to go through with the second and third books. Anyway, I hope you get what I'm saying from this rant and the level of depth with which I perceived the video game plotline in the book. And then in the show it was like, oh, we're in England. Oh, now we're in Mongolia. Oh, look how cool, it's a human army computer. Oh, well, the sun is rising three seconds later. But oh no, it's actually three suns and everyone's flying up because there's no gravity. And then that was it. And I was like, they took a diamond and used it to make an m, &M. I mean, it looked visually cool for like one minute, but that was it. It didn't feel like I had come to a big reveal. It didn't feel like I'd experienced the tragedy of Trusolaris. It didn't feel heartbreaking or intellectually mind-boggling. My brain was like, it just looks kind of cool. Which was exactly the opinions that I've heard from other people who watched the show before I did and who have not read the books. And on the scale of the Three Body Book Trilogy, being just cool looking is pathetic. When adapting these books on the screen, there cannot be such a category as being merely okay. To me, in the case of these books, the show being just okay directly equals the show being shit. And again, that's not to say I'm not gonna keep watching, because I definitely will, but it has already lost its enigma for me. Like most other films and shows these days, it turned out to be, as I mostly expected, just cool looking and only conceptually interesting dumb fun. At least when I compare it to the books. Of course, if I compare it to other shitty shows, this one is gonna look like I Claudius, but that's not the point. I'm not using other shows as point of reference. I'm using the books, and compared to them, this show is indeed mediocre trash.